we launched the Tasty Pastry. It's a low carb Pop Tart. It's got three to four grams of net carbs, and we love this show. This is our best place to be in LA. Welcome back to Legendary Foods Muscle in the Morning. I'm Dave Palumbo and today is Thursday, May 12th, 2022. And let's find out what's going on in the world of bodybuilding and fitness. Usually the hurricane season down here in South Florida doesn't start until sometime in August. But if you're in the Orlando area, you might want to start boarding up your windows and doors because it looks like Hassan Mustafa is about to bring the thunder. A few days ago, Hassan released these update photos on his Instagram to give the world a sneak peek at what he's been working on. And if you're one of those diehard Hassan fans, there's no way you're not going to like what you're seeing. All things considered, this probably is the best that he's ever looked six weeks out from a season debut. And you'd imagine that he's at the point now where he'll start hitting the gas hard as he heads down the home stretch. So if he can keep building on what he's got here, he might be a full-blown Category 5 by the time he finally touches down. We've talked about how competitive Classic Physique is over and over all year long. And now it looks like we have to do it again, because Steve Lorius has officially pushed his chips back into the center of the table. After essentially going radio silent for the better part of the last few months, this week, Steve's camp released his first official update of the season. The word from his team is that he's been fully back on training and diet regimen since sometime in mid to late February, and that he's in a place both physically and mentally that he has him feeling confident about his ability to get back to the Olympia stage this year. Even though the top of this division looks a whole lot different than it did a few years ago when he was considered a legitimate title threat, we know what he can do when he's at his best and a new and improved version of Steve could be more than capable of stepping in and picking up where he left off. And if that's what ends up happening, it'll be interesting to see how inserting him into the equation reshuffles the top of the deck. Lately, there have been some conversations floating out there about Hottie Shupin and whether or not he needs to add size to challenge Rami for the Olympia title this year. And I don't know about you, but from where we're sitting, Hottie looks like he's sitting pretty in the size department right now. This physique update was released a few days ago, and if you compare where he is now to where he was at in early parts of the season last year, you can see that he's definitely a lot thicker now than he was then. Now, with that being said, we've seen people try to play the size game with Rambi before, and up to this point, it usually hasn't worked out well. But then again, Hottie is a different breed. So if he can hang on to the added thickness and density without giving up anything in the way of conditioning, then he has a real puncher's chance to go out there and get it. If you saw the official Indy Pro lineup when it was released earlier this week, you might have noticed that former NPC national champ Jonathan Withers was a late scratch here. The word from Jonathan's camp is that he's been dealing with a lot of nagging injuries that have caused him to have a variety of issues with his training. And in addition to his hip issue, he also recently came down with a sinus infection that wound up putting him on the shelf for a few days. But with that being said, Jonathan announced that he is still planning to compete at least once this year, even though he doesn't have anything set in stone. Historically, NPC overall national champs from the NPC Nationals have gone on to have a lot of success at the next level, including Hunter Lavrada, who won the overall back in 18. So if you can find a way to get over this little speed bump, we might be talking about him in the same context at some point down the road. And that does it for yet another edition of Muscle in the Morning. I'm Dave Palumbo reminding you to always be true to your passions and make sure to follow us on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram.